All right, so welcome to this video. In this video, you will learn what is a sales process flow. So as you know that sales is something that you sell to your customer and in return the customer pay you, right? So it's a simple, straight, straightforward post process. So let me just show you how uh, the sales process flow works inside NAV. And the same process I'll show you with an example in the coming videos. So let's look at the sales process flow. So the first thing the sales process starts from the customer requirement. It means the customer has some requirement and they want a product or service from you, right? So what you do there is you create a sales quotation. So you create a sales quotation and you send the sales quotation to customer, right? So it's a standard, pro a standard process that customer has a requirement. They say, hey, I want this solution. What you do, you create a sales quote and then you send the sales code as a printout or as the soft copy. Right, so it's a document to the customer. Now, once the customer receives the document, what they do is they accept the sales quotation which you have sent. Of course, after some negotiation that may happen. So once they confirm, they send you a purchase order. Now, this is not the purchase order for your company. It is the purchase order from the customer side. Why it is called purchase order? Because customer is purchasing from you, right? So from their side, it is a purchase order, but it becomes a sales order for you. So what do you do? You create a sales order from the sales quotation, right? So I'm assuming that here, the sales quotation and the purchase order that customer has sent is the same, right? They have same uh, item numbers, item details, price, everything is same. So once they send you the purchase order, that becomes your sales order. What you do in NAV is you convert that quotation to a sales order. It means you don't have to recreate it again. Once you created the sales order, what you do is you send the material or service that has been delivered, that has been asked by the customer, right? So what you do is you do a sales shipment, right? So you, you actually fulfill your customer's order. Once you're fulfilled, you also post sales invoice to bill the customer, right? So now you have sent the product and services. So what you need to do once you have delivered your product or services, they need to pay you, right? So how do they pay? They pay you against a sales invoice. So you post a sales invoice to bill customer. And then you send that sales invoice to customer for payment. Either you can send it the hard copy, the printout, or you can send a soft copy uh, mentioning that this is the amount you need to pay, right? So it's in uh, relationship with the sales order. Now, this shipment and invoice can be partial. For example, the 10 items were required and you shipped only five, so you will send the invoice for five, right? So there can be multiple shipments and invoice against the same sales order. It can also be a case that uh, your company needs uh, prepayment, right? So advance payment before you can start working. So you will send an invoice before you can actually ship the the material, right? So based on those things, you can configure the things in, uh, in NAV, right? So what you do is you send the invoice for customer to make payment. And finally, the customer sends you the payment and you receive it, right? So this is the entire sales process. Now, in this case, if customer says that, hey, whatever product you sent is uh, not meeting the quality requirements, all the services that you have said is, uh, it's not it's not as per the expectations, then uh, they say, though, no, we, we don't want this, you can take it back, right? So what do you do in that case? You create sales credit memo. So it's for product or service return. It's an optional step, but in case if customer needs that, hey, I don't want to use your services, I don't want to use your product, or is there any adjustment that needs to be done? So you create a sales credit memo, which basically reverses the impact of the sales invoice. Right, so it's an optional, but in case if it's required, it is posted. So this is the entire sales process. So you start with the sales quotation, you send the quotation to customer, customer use that quotation and send you the purchase order. Then you convert that quotation to order. You ship the material or services, you post the invoice, you send the invoice to the customer and you receive the payment. If required, you might need to send the credit memo, right, for, uh, for reversing the invoice if customer doesn't want your services or product or if there's any differences that you need to post, right? So this is the entire sales process. So thank you so much for watching. In the coming video, I'm going to show you how you can do this transaction inside NAV. So that's it. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video tutorial.